everybody. Hi. Um, I'm so happy to be here. I'm gonna do, a, I have actually a couple of tutorials in mind, but I just wanna thank you for being here. My name is Monica and I have um, a little Etsy shop called Glass Bird Bath Crafts. And I also have a Facebook page. So make sure that you come and become a member, be my friend. And then also I have a, um, a craft group that's free to join. It's called Birds of a Feather Craft Together. And there you can share your creations. You can share whatever you want. That's what that page is all about. So without further ado, I'm gonna show you my very first craft. But first, before I do that, I've got to show you these cute and adorable little cupcakes. Aren't they cute? This one's gonna get a little bow by her ear. I haven't gotten to that one yet, but I do have this one done. And she already has her little bow. This one is a chocolate cupcake and this one is a vanilla. So you'll find these in my Etsy shop. I'm gonna put those in there tonight if there's something that you want to use for your Easter decor. In the meantime, here we go. So I've got a cupcake mold here. Oh, actually it's not a mold, I take that back. Um, I bought this little ramekin. You can get these at the Dollar Tree. They come, I don't know, maybe three for a dollar, so that's about 33 cents. On the inside, I have sprayed some of this spray foam. This is from Walmart, very inexpensive. They make other varieties of it or brands. Uh, they have, um, uh, I can't think of it right now, <laughs> sorry. But they do have other brands. This is the cheapest and it works perfectly fine. So that's my preference. Okay, so I took that in, I put that in here, and I let it puff up and get big. Um, the trick is to not go more than maybe halfway full. Um, most of you guys that uh, are probably watching have already done fake baking for yourself. So this is nothing new. Um, if you have not, um, please comment and uh, let me know. And if you have any more questions, I'd be happy to answer them for you. Okay, so next thing we're gonna do, this is already very hard, ready to go, is I'm gonna take and paint this one a vanilla color. So I have my own little blend of vanilla, but I think if I had to pin it down, it's been a while since I made it and I'm kind of running low, but if I had to pin it down, I would say it's white yellow, khaki, and I think that says classic caramel. Okay, all these colors together, classic caramel, yellow, Ooh, there's a little, ooh, there's a little sheen on it, there we go, and khaki. And white. Okay, so I've created this little mixture and I'm just gonna squeeze a little bit on here. Oh, I can't squeeze it. <laughs> That's, these are nice little containers. I got this from the dollar store too. They come like maybe three to a pack. But unfortunately, um, once you use them, they get clogged up at the top and you can't get anything out of them anymore. So um, I'm just gonna open it and clean it. I probably need to clean the lid too. That's getting kind of gunky. And I've got my little paintbrush here. Um, actually, I'm going to use a little smaller one because I got to get down around these edges and I don't want to have any accidents. I don't want it to get on the little plastic ramekin at all. These little ramekins come in, um, they come in white and red at the Dollar Tree. Actually, it's the Dollar Twenty Five Tree, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Have you guys been shopping lately at the Dollar Tree? I gotta tell you, 
I am so disappointed. I am. I mean, I know it's probably inevitable. Prices have to go up eventually. You know, everybody wants to make money. Um, I do probably guess that most of this um, is manufactured in a place that it's not super expensive to make. Um, oops, I got a little too much penny. But nevertheless, it probably did need to go up. A dollar twenty-five is still very, very reasonable, and I use a lot of Dollar Tree stuff for most of my crafts. Uh, you know, it depends. Depends on what I'm doing. Um, but anyways, uh, and Amazon. I love Amazon. Shh, don't tell my husband. <laughs> no, he knows I love Amazon too. But um, anyways, back to my story. Um, I'm a dollar twenty-five now. If I buy four atoms, it's costing me a buck more, obviously, super simple math, but it's unbelievable what a difference it makes. I mean, I I can't believe it. Just a quarter on each item really adds up, really adds up. Okay, I got a little bit on the edge here, so I'm gonna go ahead and use my, um, I think that's only gonna take one coat, believe it or not. It helps that the uh, gaps and cracks is kind of a beige color underneath. Definitely helps. Got my little Dollar Tree brush cleaner. <laughs> You're gonna laugh. Look, it's um, it's very loved. Let's just say it that way. It's very, very loved. <laughs> and I know these things are only a buck. It's so simple to. Sorry, buck twenty. Uh, so simple to replace it, but um, I don't want to figure why not, why? My tape is working just fine, so eh, I'd rather save that dollar twenty-five for something else that I like. That's just the way I, that's just the way I am. Okay, so we got our little cupcake and I painted it. I have painted it. Vanilla. And I have a super, super cute idea for this one. While this paint is still wet, sorry, I had a little itchy eye. While the paint's still wet, I'm gonna add a couple of these little sprinkles. These are, um, I know they look all cute and fancy in this little teeny tiny little bag, but the truth of the matter is, is they come in a very large bag. Um, let's see if they'll stick at Dollar Tree. Oh, they do stick, yay wasn't sure if I was going to have to Mod Podge it first in order to get these little babies to stay, but hey, they look like they're doing just fine. Ooh, wasn't that simple. Perfect. Um, so these are little styrofoam ball sprinkles and they are super, super staticky. So... <laughs> If you get them, make sure that you try to isolate uh, into a little smaller quantity like I did here. It's just an idea. Um, I've worked with these little sprinklies um, in other situations, let's just say, and they get all over. They get all over my hands, all over my workspace. They stick to the inside of the, the plastic bag. It's awful, just awful. So by doing this, it gives me just a little bit more control. <laughs> and you could use a little bit bigger bag too if you wanted, but this is perfect for cupcake size um, because as you can see, it's just enough. Yay. All righty. Pick up these little extra balls. And trust me, they will go everywhere. Right now, as we speak, I have little teeny tiny white um, styrofoam balls <laughs> all over my floor and it's because they you go to sweep them up and they don't stay still uh, because they're so full of static and they're so tiny I go to sweep them up and they just run away from me run away <laughs> if you can believe that they run away <laughs> anybody that's used them I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about don't you yeah yeah you know you know what's going on. So, um, anyways, they're much more controlled this way. So, I'm still waiting for this little paint to dry, and I guess I probably should have gotten my um, 
my hair dryer. I don't have a heat gun. Um, I used to, but then I moved and it got lost. So that'll take a minute to dry. In the meantime, we can continue decorating. This is, isn't it cute? It, this is um, a little teeny tiny um, bunny ears with some tulle around it. And I can't remember exactly I got it at the dollar store, I think, but I can't remember exactly what it was attached to because whatever it was attached to, I took it off. I want to say maybe, maybe it was a headband or, or maybe, a, I don't know. I really don't know. I think maybe it was a headband. Anyways, I don't know if you can find these anymore. Um, you could just as easily use something else. We're just talking about making a little cupcake and, and decorating it. So this just happens to be what I had. And I think this is going to be so stinking cute. Okay. I'm going to give this a shot. I don't think it's going to stick because the paint's still wet, but actually, you know what? I think I'm going to wait. That's a bad idea because I know what will happen. My little tool will accidentally touch something on this cupcake and it will get vanilla batter color all over it. So I'm not even going to take a chance. Not even gonna try, not even gonna take a chance. So we're gonna set that aside. In the meantime, um, I will be putting a little bow on this. And if I'm looking around like I don't know what I'm doing, it's because I don't. Um, <laughs> it's because I don't. Um, I thought I brought some ribbon out here for it, but I guess I didn't. So, um, in fact, I may not even put an extra bow on it because the bunny ears have a bow. But I do have another project and um, I'm going to do that one too. Uh, it's a little different. Most of my crafts are kind of whimsical and um, I don't know, kind of, some of them are farmhouse, some of them are, um, most of them are kind of whimsical. So uh, this project is actually going to be a little bit more out of my comfort zone, it's going to be French country. French country. So for those of you that enjoy French country, then you're going to want to stay tuned because the next craft that I have is going to be really, really cute. Really cute. So without further ado, I'm not going to wait for the paint to dry. Bottom line is I'm going to stick that on there like that and I'm going to have a really, really cute little Easter cupcake. And this will look great in my tear tray, which is over there. I might have to show you. It's kind of messy. Nah, I'm not gonna do it. Anyways, um, it's kind of messy because I have some other stuff, you know, piled up in it, but I have this little guy up here. Little girl, actually. She's got pretty eyelashes. She sits in my tear tray, and, and then I have this little popsicle, um, and that sits in my tray. I also have these really super cute macarons, macaroons, macarons, call them what you like. And I also have, I did these around Christmas time, guys. So these are adorable little squares of paper, little pettifors, if you, if you like. But um, I did a bunch of these. I still have a few of these in stock if you guys are interested. They are, you could do it without, I mean, it's easy enough to pull the hook out if you just want to use it on your display. In fact, I have this really cute, I got this at Hobby Lobby. And how cute is that, right? Oh, it's so cute. And you could do it for, ooh, I might have to do that. You guys, I just got an inspiration. Might have to do it for Easter. Maybe use some, uh, some nuts around the bottom, fake nuts. Maybe a carrot on the top. Maybe like a little mini, mini carrot cake. Oh. So cute, so cute, so cute. Oh, so cute. Okay. And I kind of have a, a, a pink and black and white theme. So I found these cute little carrots. I think I got these at Wally World. And those are in my tear tray. I think I also got these at Wally World because, in case you didn't notice, I have a lot of buffalo plaid, kind of a country look going on. So I got those. And I also make these adorable little 
pies that have uh, little donuts on them. Mini, mini, mini donuts. Aren't they so cute? Another great tear tray item. I think there's a few of those left in my shop. Oh, and I also have some that are um, pink on the top. So they kind of look really springy, really Eastery. Um, I have these super, super cute macarons. And these little guys are going in my Etsy shop very soon. They're just simple purple. They're just, they're beautiful on top. They have cute little sparkly leaves and silver leaves and they're just beautiful. I love them. I absolutely love them. So those, look for those soon too. And on my tear tray, I also have this amazing, cute little Gingy. Ooh, <laughs> sorry, I didn't realize she did that. Um, this little Gingy is from Yuli's Happy Creations. She is um, a wonderful artist, creator, um, friend. I just can't recommend her enough. So go check her out. She has, this is my, this is my favorite for my little tray because it's kind of got the whole theme going on um, between my big bakes and, um, and my pink. But she has some adorable little guys right now that are uh, um, lady, oh, no, sorry, not lady, but she didn't have those ones. Um, they're strawberries, strawberries, and little gingies with strawberry hats and stuff like that. So go check her out. She's so, her stuff is so cute. If I could, I would collect every, one of every single item. Um, but. And maybe I will someday, um, but right now, as you probably guessed, I'm still in the RV. And there's nothing wrong with that. In fact, um, all I'm gonna say, I'm gonna give you a hint and I'm not gonna tell, but all I can say is, um, I might start addressing you as y'all in the near future. That's all I'm gonna say, nothing more. So keep you guessing. Um, anyways, thanks for being here. Uh, I'll see you in my next video coming up. This is Monica with Glassbird Bath Crafts. I hope you have a very fabulous afternoon. As you can see here, the sunshine is out and it is warm and it is beautiful. And I wish the same for you. I hope your day is blessed. I hope it is wonderful. And I hope your husband makes you dinner tonight. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for being here. All right. I look forward to seeing you again real soon. Bye.